Russell Westbrook from L.A. Started at OKC, goes to Houston, mm-hmm. goes to Washington. His dream, mm-hmm. after seeing Kobe and Shaq hold up the trophies, he's been a lifelong Laker right. fan. He comes here, and it's not going to, according to plan. Mm-hmm. And I think there's no greater person to speak to this than to you. You've gotten booed twice in L.A. That's right. You win the championship, and all of a sudden, you and the coach, for the whatever reason, you guys can't get along. Mm-hmm. And then the second time happened in 1984. They gave you a nickname. Right. It, Tragic Magic. Even after two finals MVP, right. even after going to all those finals, That's right. this is what they bestowed upon you. Right. If you can, if you, if Russell Westbrook was sitting down right here, what advice would you give him? First, take accountability. Okay. That's number one. Okay. If I don't play well, say I don't play well. Right. You know, you, you, when I didn't perform well in 84 against the Celtics, right. I, I admitted that. I took accountability. Right. I said, hey, I didn't perform well. I was the reason why the Lakers lost that okay. series. And I had to say to myself, I got to get better. Right. So what did I do? I went out and that whole summer. I trained hard and got better. And then we played them again in 85. Five. Next season. Right. Man, I was on fire. We won. No, you didn't hear that no more. Right. right? Uh, same thing with Coach Westhead. When, after he got fired, they booed me for about a month. So Because that was the first time, Magic, because Magic said, you know, hey, I, I can't play with this guy, man. Yeah. I, your boy need to go up out of here. Hey, he couldn't <laughs> coach, man. Just, just he slowed us down. We were a running team, right? But he wanted to sl- slow the pace down, and we're not a a, a dominant. You not a walking the ball up the court right. team. That's right. Half court team. We're a running and gunning team. So I got booed. So I told Coach Riley, I said, "Oh, I'm about to turn it up." Okay. I must have went for about ten triple doubles, right? And all of a sudden, you start. Stop hearing them boos. Right. Turn into cheers. cheers. Okay. And then we end up winning the championship right. that same year. Right. See? And so that's what Russell got to do. Right. Quit trying to fight the media. Quit trying to fight the fans Man. and just say, you know what? I didn't play well, mm-hmm. but I'm going to play better. Right. And go out there on the court and perform. Right. That's how you stop all the things that's going on. But you can't do it by trying to combat them. Right. And trying to be mad at the fans or at the media, because the media got a job. Correct. And their job is if you're not playing well, they say that. Say it. Right. And I didn't mind them taking shots at me in '84. Right. I didn't play well. And the thing is with the Lakers, Magic, and you know this, is that the fans know good basketball. Oh, no question. It it, it ain't about. And the fans. This is what I say about the fans of the Lakers. And (laughs) for being out here for six years. It doesn't matter what you did somewhere else. No. You need to do that for us. That's right. For us to cheer you and to love you, do that. Do Get 100 triple doubles for us. That's right. Like you did those other teams. No he, LeBron had to find that out. Yes. Yes. And remember when he first came, everybody they, they, was still talking about Kobe. Oh, wait Kobe, a minute. Wait. And, and they wouldn't let you put no murals up. That's right. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> so what did LeBron do? Let me come in here and turn it out. Turn it out. Let me win the championship. Correct. All that's gone now. Right. Right? He's beloved now. But Russell... We know championship basketball here. We know winning basketball. So listen, just come in, do your job, and if you don't play well, accept that. Right. But say it. Right. And then come back and hopefully play better, better. the next, next time. Right. And then the fans will will respect you for that. Right. 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 They respected me when I said I didn't play well. Right. Right. But I'll be they- back. <clears throat> They wanted to hear you say that. That's they right. didn't want to hear you say, well, this team, they played so much better. You're like, no, the ball's in my hands. I've got to play better. I'm the quarterback. That's right. You're the point guard. The ball is in your hand. You're the floor general. You got to make better decisions. You got to make them layups. You know, you got to hit your shots. Right. And then you got to play hard. See, where Laker fans get mad last season, we were down there arguing with the referees. Right. And they were down there dunking on us. Right. We can't, we can't take that. No. We can't stand that. Right. No, bust your butt to get back. Try to stop them when it's a timeout. Now you talk to the referee. Right, right. I never did that. Not one time. I always, even if a bad call, I'm running back. Right. Because I got to help my teammates. Correct. You know, we're trying to win. And then when the whistle blows, now I can say, hey, now I'm going to need that call. Now, so you gave right. that call to them down there on that end. Now, I'm going to need that same call. And that's all you got to do. See, it's another thing. You can't show them up like this. Yes. And hold your hands up like this. A wave them off. <clears throat> That's right. That's right. You got to get over there. Hey, man, you missed that one. You missed that one. <laughs> <laughs> right. You owe me one. Right. You know what to do. 
Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.